Right, hi everybody and welcome back to Lundy's Wild Camp Stroke Bushcraft. And as you can see, we're back out, we're in the woods. And we're back at camp. It's been very wet over the last few days, it's been absolutely torrential, so everything's saturated. But as you can see, Rooney's setting up his hammock. Is it hammock? Hammock it's called, isn't it? It's hammock. Hammock? Yep. And it looks lovely and comfortable. Yeah. It's and he's got, he's got his lovely top. It actually, it actually blends in quite well, doesn't it? But aye. So later on, when he's had a few jaws, we'll bring the camera over and we'll have a right laugh watching him get into this. <laughs> so I've seen a few YouTubers getting these and trying to get into them being a bit of a nightmare, apparently. So, but yeah, um, we're out. It's getting late, like it's after four o'clock now. I'm not even set up. And as you can see, I've got a massive bergen where is. So I've brought a big cam net in there with all the rest of my kit and my webbing. Um, it, the cam net's about seven metres by three metres. Uh, roughly, I'm not, well, not three metres, sorry, foot. About seven foot by three foot. So it's going to be enough to definitely go from one end of the camp to the other. And then we'll hang it up and then drape it down here. And this will come all this bit up. But we're not going to do that tonight. We're just going to get set up. I'm going to have to take some dry wood out of there and get it all processed, ready for tonight. Because it's, it's, it's definitely a different feel in the air today. It's a lot chillier. I've got this new shirt on. It's a quick drying shirt. It looks quite posh compared to a t-shirt I normally wear. I actually went out for a, a walk with a, a Bergen on and everything. I've done a bit of videoing. I'm not sure if the video is going to come out or not. Um, I've done about 11 and a bit miles altogether up to Wylam and uh, yeah it was a nice day out. I had the car in the garage getting serviced and MOT'd so I spent I spent the day out yomping around and uh, looking for possible stealth camps along the, the River Tyne like because there's some nice areas up next to Wylam and that but it was absolutely chock out with people um, yeah because the kids were all still off school at the time like uh, loads of dog walkers, loads of cyclists, so couldn't really find anywhere to be honest like. But anyway, enough waffling about that. Tonight we're going to be having an Indian curry on the fire. Well, we're not going to have it on the fire, we're going to cook it on the fire. And we're going to just chill out tonight. Okay, there you go then. That's me set up. I've gone for my snug pack Stratosphere um, hoop bivy. I, I prefer that on there compared to putting a normal like net up and everything as well. Um, I don't get claustrophobic in it at all. Um, I brought my sleeping bag, but I'm not going to sleep in my sleeping bag tonight. I'm going to try a different method tonight. Um, I've brought some softy trousers and a softy jacket. And I'm going to sleep in them. Um, I think I've got softy boots as well and I'm going to see what that's like because it's just something I'm thinking of for a different type of camp so I'm going to test it out. It's a lot cooler the day as well, I think it's only about 12 degrees so I think it's going to drop right down to about 4 or 5 degrees tonight um, so it'll be a little tester. So and anyway, um, obviously Rooney's got his amok, <laughs> amok. and then he's got Spot his... Spock. May the force be with you. Yes. And then he's got his chill out area there. Aye. So. I'll tell you what, this backrest. I'm glad I made it like Jimmy. My, you know? my, my, I've got my backrest, mate. I'm, my, well, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'll make you one for Christmas, okay? It'll probably take him till Christmas to make it like. That's not the point, <laughs> it's the craftsmanship you've got to appreciate. Not like somebody like Machete fucking Joe across there, you know what I mean? That chops everything. Try not to swear. He's Sorry swearing. The but bugger. Yes. Machete Joe. Machete Joe. Yeah. So, anyway, what's on the menu tonight, Rooney? We're having going chicken curry. A 
It's a goin chicken curry. Goin where's chicken. a goin? Where's a goin like? It's going all the way to Harwood and back. It's, it's going all the way the down my neck <laughs> <laughs> into my belly. Your, down your like slightly large <laughs> neck. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, and your tartar belly. Whereas mine, I just eat an apple. Right, and I put on three stone. You can see this apple. Whereas Jimmy eats it, and it's like going into the tortoise. It just, it just looks the same all the time. <laughs> but he's a human dustbin. It's like 30 cars going down the time tunnel and never coming out. Aye, know, but I, I'm a grafter, mate. I burn it off. <laughs> 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 and anyway, I'm looking forward to having a nice curry later on tonight. We've both brought snacks out as well. I brought a couple of scabby mince um, pies and uh, some else. some little cakes and biscuits and things. And Rooney's bought some pork pies and a couple of other bits and pieces. So we'll be having a party atmosphere tonight. I think we'll be eating them and drinking while we're doing my live feed. But um, I'm just about to set up. Got a couple of bits and pieces to eat off camera. And I'm going to chill and have a bit of a chat with me mucker. Because we're having to, Well, we speak to each other every bloody day in any way, like. No, but, we Alright, we didn't then. We didn't then. <laughs> He's a cheeky twat, isn't he? Yeah, I've got him. You yeah. send us emojis full of, like... Kisses and cuddles and thumbs up and thumbs and pictures and all that. I haven't got a clue what you're sending. I haven't sent anything like that, mate, because it costs money to send them. Does it? Oh, yeah. Right. Well, it must have been you, then, would it? <laughs> None of it costs money. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm, I'm not wasting my money on him sending <laughs> shit like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I've swore, so we're ones each. Hey. <laughs> Par yeah. Pardon my language there, everybody. But, yeah, um, Rooney's, Rooney's going to get sorted. Is that your new plate? Yes, it is. Like mine that I never use. Yeah, well, what it was is I use various metal objects as plates and that. And I always bring a chopping board. So what I've done is, is get that plate and that will be my chopping Aye. board via all sort of eat off. Yeah. And if you notice the very small circumference of it, it doesn't hold a lot of food. Aye. Um, the, obviously, the reason why you stopped using it was because obviously it didn't hold enough food. Well, actually, I've started bringing me a little titanium frying pan that I use. Because that holds a little amount, but little it, amount. it piles up quite high though. <laughs> you mean it's, it's got depth on it? It's got depth on it, aye. It's, it's got, got a big girth. It's got a big girth, aye. So, so you're praying for wishes for Christmas. And anyway, let's stop waffling. I'll catch you later. Thank goodness. I do. I'll put a little stick on the other side. Just to keep it off a bit. I've got some little lollipop sticks there off Rooney. I've got loads of little bits of dry wood that I've processed today. Some of them are a bit bigger than what they should be like. Never mind. Yeah, I feel out of breath. I'll just let that take its course. Hopefully it's all on camera like. I think it is. But uh, yeah. Give me knife for clean, it's got dirty that. Lovely knife that if you can see it through the smoke. 
and Cecil Knife by the Northumbrian or Chris. There's the fire going anyway. Are you getting smoked out really? No, not yet. Not yet. Oh well that's happy days isn't it? Which is a nice snapper thing. Right. There you go. On. Fire's going. Mr. Aruni sat in a shelter. Looks like the smoke's gone to you, like, oh, it's disappeared the smoke. Mm. Oh, it has. And uh, there you go, on. my little setup. This lamp is amazing, like, gives off some great light. But, uh, let's put this down there a second. I'm going to get rid of this hat. And, uh, yeah. Let's turn that light off, see what the lighting's like in here. Well, that's dark. Very dark, isn't it? Right, we've we'll put that one on one. If you put on three clicks, it can't like a, a big white screen. But anyway, I so that's the fire going. I'll add some more bits. We've chopped up loads of other bits. Using that big axe was much better, like. Um, but anyway, I just like to say, cheers, everybody, and welcome, and thank you for clicking onto the video. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get get the fire up and running, and then Rooney's gonna start cooking some food uh, later on tonight. Not now, and uh, just not hungry. Like, I'm not long had my breakfast. It's uh, like half twelve, one o'clock, and then I've just had a, a mince pie. So we'll see how things go in any way. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice chilled out night tonight. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna let the fire go for a bit and then we're gonna do some cooking later on. Um a nice Indian curry and we'll see how that goes like I caught thought I was seeing a light in the distance there it's not the bloody candle flickering that we've got. So there's a Rooney's getting all romantic look. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Actually look the ambience gone bit of ambience but yeah, but, uh, we've cut a little bit of black plastic off of the big sheet just to put over with bits of wood that were processed and over our main bit, just a small sheet just because there's like trickles of rain still coming but that lantern gives off lovely light let's turn my light off and see what it looks like yeah, if we had a few more of them around the camp that would be absolutely ideal Brilliant. everybody it's about half past eight Um, didn't do any more video and last night we didn't cook a food I just had snacks and things I wasn't a mega hungry yesterday to be quite honest so I think we're going to use the chicken and things for to make some wraps later on this afternoon so we're here all day it's a it's a bit of a chilly morning it's a definite change in the weather compared to the last few months but uh, yeah it's lovely and peaceful Lovely. It's dead still, but it's a little bit of a chill. I love this little area over here, like, it's just so, so nice. But, um, yeah. I'm going to head back into camp and uh, get me gas, gas uh, cooker out, my stove, sorry, and uh, make me sell a brew. Uh, 
Well, there we go. A nice, lovely cup of tea. It's definitely chilly, I know, like, um, compared to, when was it, not last week, the week before we were out uh, down the coast. And, uh, yeah, within them two weeks, the weather's definitely changed, like, in the mornings. Definitely cooler. Mm. Oh, lovely. Bit of nectar. Nectar of the gods. Yeah, so hopefully my plans work out today and uh, I get my wood shelter built. And if I've got time and I can find the right materials, because I want to build up on my wood supply and get things chopped up a bit better and get loads of wood prep done for the next time we we'll come so we don't have to funny on. Because obviously I come out on a Saturday afternoon and the dark nights are creeping in quicker now. So we spend most of our first night getting here, getting walking in, getting set up and prepping firewood like. So it's always nice to come to a place that you camp permanently where you've got wood supply already done and dusted like. But uh, it sounds like Rooney's really enjoying his hammock sleep because he's still snoring his head off. And it's now 10 to 9 in the morning. So I'll just leave him be me, like, once I start getting packed up, that's what I'm going to do this morning. I'm going to get myself all packed up, get everything put away that I'm not going to be using, and then uh, get washed and fed and things, and then start getting some graft done. But in the meantime, I'm going to just sit back, relax, listen to the, the birds chirping away, and enjoy this cup of tea. So I'll see you in an hour or so. And thanks for watching everybody. But there he is, look. I don't know if you can see him through the netting. But oh there you can you see him. Hello Rooney. How how are you doing in there? I was uh, Are you coming out to play? No, I'm quite comfortable. Hello. Eh? What? Yeah, I'm good. He's even got he's even took his beat his boots his boots his boots off. Of course, I've taken his boots off. He's gonna end up ripping that net like I bet you. Honest, I'm not, man. Honest. I'm I'll, give him, I'll, give, I'll give him a month. <laughs> I'm very comfortable at the minute, actually, Jimmy. I'll just look, there's only one thing wrong with this whole setup. I need someone to make us a cup of tea because I don't want to move. So I'm rather comfortable. If you get yourself a large table and put it there, mate, cut a hole in the side of your hammock. You better put your you hand through. I like to, I'll make all the food for you. You could make the coffees in the morning because I'm very, very comfortable. Um, like it's, the weather's changed. Obviously, jungle sleeping bags isn't the way forward in this type of uh, weather. <laughs> but yes, um, yes. So mm. it's look at him. He's like a little baby in his cot. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it's like what Ian says from Canada. He says, what? what was he? Was he called it again? The the spoiled little toddler. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Ian. Look, he's in his pram. Yes. <laughs> let's give you. Hang on. Let's 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 see. Oh. I've just bound me here on his ridge line. There we go. Rock a bye, baby, on the tree top. <laughs> oh, good, sleep, little boy. <laughs> well, Actually, that. what I'm going to do is the next time. <laughs> I'm actually going to put a rope. Are you feeling sick tree. yet? And I'm just going to be able to do this because um, it's very, very relaxing, this, actually. Isn't it? Yes, it is. All right, well, when you get your, your butt out of there, <laughs> I'll be getting my boots off and having a go and see what it's like. You, you wouldn't like it. But I'll tell actually... you what we're going to do, though. Rooney's going to, Rooney's, going to, Rooney's going to do a demonstration on how to get in and out of it first. I found my way, right, and it's not majestic or anything. You just hire yourself in, do you? Dive in it. Shut up, man. Me? I dived in it. You'll break it, mate. I don't care. You'll end up ripping all the joints. Aye. I, you, I, you don't dive, dive, but you just get in that way. Aye. Because when you try and get in the way, they say it show the hands and all that, it's small. Awkward. I've seen a few people uh, struggling to get in and out of them, like, but once you're in, you're in. like. Oh, I really man. like it. I'll tell you what it is. I don't know why I ever had any other hammock, me, like. Aye. Well, I think if I ever... Because... I'm finding the DD super light hammock quite uncomfortable when I'm lying diagonally. I feel like it's cutting into us. Yeah, uh, but I don't really hammock camp that much. I know. But the winter's coming and we'll want to move around, didn't we? Oh, yeah. So I think hammock might be the idea. Absolutely. Be a bit using normal tarp as well, wouldn't you? 
<coughs> Excuse me, we're coughing. Off, uh, probably three and a half by three and a half metre. Uh, what this is? No, no, I don't know what size this is. I think that's less than three metres, me like. Um, we'll have to measure. We'll have to get the proper measurements of that uh, top. It's big enough for where it is, like. But yeah, yeah, right on the edge though. Well, know what I mean? So, but if you wanted a good working space you underneath, the ends, they've got drip things and everything, so it doesn't matter. Like the water's not gonna. It's gonna Aye, be too nice. yeah. You it's just if I mean? you want to so be, if you didn't want to be sat in there, but you want to be under your top, that's pouring you down with rain. It's on the edges, right? I'm in the middle. I'm not on the edges. No, but I'm on about if if you're sitting under your top, not in there, but you want to sit under your top and do some little work like prep, wood prep and things like that. If it's pouring down with rain, I don't think you've got much room for manoeuvre. But there again, your trees don't need to be mega far apart, do they? Actually, this is like, I could be closer. All you want is the width of, I need to pierce out from end to end. What is it? You know, like your uh, top. From your top. Aye. If you pierce the width of this top now, that's this, the uh, distance for the trees you want. One, two, three, three and a, three and a half. Say four to be, be on the safe side, I would say. Right, four pierces. Four pierces where it's four candles. <laughs> so like I say, oh. if you, look, you could probably go a lot closer. Well you could, I think it's three and a bit me, but... Mm -hmm. Aye. Jimmy, I've, I've nearly stopped moving. There's no idea. Oh, I'm sorry mate. That's, okay. try, try not to pull the pool thing. <laughs> right, ready? It's like, it's, like being, it's like being at the park with the kids. <laughs> I'll never get a mood there, you know. It's just as well I'm not hungry this morning. I it's actually don't curry. feel hungry. Oh no, no, do I? But I we'll have curry for dinner. But I don't want to waste the chicken and that. I, ate, I'm, I'm sorry, but I ate the two bananas and the board and the mm. chocolate buttons last night, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there, uh, what else did I eat? I think it's I had. A, I, I think I had a double decker as well. <laughs> right, welcome back, everybody. It's uh, nearly eleven o'clock. We haven't had a breakfast yet, so what we're going to do is going to get the fire on, and. For breakfast today we're going to have a curry because <laughs> <laughs> by the time the fire gets done properly and Rooney's got his act and, and sorted out um, it's going to be dinner time and anyway so we're just going to skip breakfast and straight into having a curry and if we're still here later on we're just going to make some sausage and egg baps um, well wraps sorry not baps um, so yeah just a quick easy fire starting with a lighter and one of my little fire lighters some bits of wood that I had left over from last night because obviously the fire died out and we didn't we didn't get it started again. So I'm just gonna build this up, try to smother it. And there, and then while this is burning away and Rooney's getting himself sorted out, I'm going to start getting some prep done for building a wood shelter. For our fire, firewood. Oh, bit of punk wood in that there as well, like. That should go right well. Obviously we've got an orange bag in the background there, that's just one rubbish bag, so if anybody's wondering. And there we go, and a quick, simple, easy starting of a fire. Hopefully you've got that on the screen, I think it's just about on the screen, like. And then we'll just let that nature, well, let nature, let that take its own course and uh, it'll get going. Sweet. <coughs> Big bit smothering it a bit, isn't it? <coughs> so we'll put it on this side there and it can build up on that bit. Leave that as it is. So 
There we go. And we'll let Mr. Rooney get sorted. No, I you might want to put it out with actual flame. Yeah. You might want to put it out with actual flame then. Yeah, it'll get gone first. And, uh, oh, it's going like it's just <coughs> need a bit more. Catch them bigger bits on the top. Oh, I think I might uh, have to move a couple of bits because I think it's... You'll, you'll spoil it. I'm getting told off now. <laughs> there you go, man. Flames are coming. Flames are coming through, man. Happy days. Right, so that's, as you've seen there, Rooney's been uh, cooking cooking the curry, so we're just going to dish up now. Got two naan breads, nana breads, and the curry looks lovely. Oh. My mouth watering like mad, like uh... cloths behind you. So I've went and put two bags of rice, obviously excuse the smoke, because the fire's going to die off now. I've got two bags of rice in my me, uh, me little pan, and Rooney's just taken out a certain amount of curry and uh, the chicken. Because we've got enough lumps each. Are you, do you know about how many we've got? At least six. What each? Aye. So. It's more than a chicken breast, you know, they're quite a big. Aye, thing. he's got big chunks of chicken there. Um, and then what we're going to do is once we've got enough out each, we're going to um, pour the sauce on. I'm just hoping my battery lasts because it's starting to die out, like. But um, yeah, I'm hungry now, like. Off camera, I've been sorting loads of wood out ready for our build. Um, so I haven't been just sitting around like I've been doing other things. Yeah, you'll get the extra bit for oh, me. get the extra bit for, for the extra work because I've got loads of work coming. And uh, yeah. Right, and here comes the sauce. Oh, so that. yeah, what it is, it's a goo and curry, so it's very hot. Well, spicy? Yeah, spicy. Right, so. And. Um, what I did was with the chicken, it had been uh, marinated for two days in a tikka masala, in a tikka sauce and that oh. oh, that sauce tastes lovely. Your naan bread, mate? Yeah. yeah. Please, sir, can I have some more? Well, it's not one, are they? Oh, oh it doesn't me, it's going to get washed, isn't it? And then, obviously, we've got a naan bread each. They're ready. So I'm just going to quickly do this off cut on down here. Do you like my new shirt? I'm absolutely sweating. Um, yeah, let's have a quick taste of this. Showing your mind. Obviously, you like mm. I'll go for the aesthetic look and all uh, that. Non breads and all. So in any way, we're going to curry. We're going to go off camera now. This tastes lovely. Oh, I tell you what, that's got a canny kick to it. That like. But let's just. Uh, I'll do it. Me nan bread's burning us. Is it? Mine's still on the fire. That's a big chunk of chicken in that, you know. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Right, I need to get myself a bottle of water while I'm eating this. <laughs> and, uh, oh, that's got some spice in it. Now, that's what you call a brunch <laughs> and a half. All right, so I'll let you know the outcome later on. But I'm going to sit rocks, enjoy this. And then next time you see us, we'll be getting right to sort the camera out and do some building. I am sweating like mad here, and I've only had one mouthful. But I've just been grafting loads as well. So it's easily our lads and lasses. Thank you very much, Dene Rooney. Get the massive chilli in me, Gob. Ooh, that's I'm glad George you said Michael. a massive chilli. <laughs> <laughs> see you later, everybody. What a smoke. Lovely jubbly, lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. And now I'm going to get me naan bread and I'm going to sit down. 
Right, well, I did I did see it was the end of it, but I've got a little bit of battery going there. So I've got this massive naan bread here. So I'm just going to rip that off. I've got it resting on one of my little mats. But, uh, oh, so we've got some uh, foil in the bag rice mix. This is your portable. Oh, oh, it is, I. Now it is, I feel like I'm getting a bit of a shake, you know. I think I've hung over. But I've just been playing a lot of craft off camera, like. And I need some food. So you've been in an Indian restaurant? Oh my god. Mm. Well, I can honestly say Rooney has surpassed himself again. Like, that is absolutely fantastic, mate. It's one of the nicest breakfast stroke early dinners I've ever had. As you know, I've got proper shakes. Try a good chip, Misha. Mmm. Right, I'm going to leave it at that now. I need to get some fluids down my neck. Oh, and eat this. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely, lovely and tender, isn't it? Oh, one more bite for the camera. Well, it's marinated for two days. Uh -huh. All the flavours have permeated all the way through, so you haven't got Aye. the bland uh, chicken taste. It's, it hasn't got the bland, like Rooney says, hasn't got a bland taste. My curries, when I make them, are bland because I do them marinade, so I need to start marinating. Marinade, well, your you end up chicken. With, um, you end up with sauce and a bit of uh -huh. chicken, whereas marinating it mm -hmm. is way to go. See you later, peeps. See you later. So as you can see, me and Rooney have been prepping some wood and we've started with a wood shelter, all right. So it's going to be quite high up at the front end, but it's, uh, it's going to slope down at the back. So it goes about the same height as what the hedge is. We'll keep on building up on the hedge in any way for extra um, wind protection for the for the camp as we go. But uh, we've needed a proper um, shelter. It's 25 past 2 in the afternoon now, so we're starting to run out of uh, time. So as long as I can get the main beams going across uh, on both ends and then hire a couple of slats on where it should be suffice like and then we've got the the black sheet plastic that we've been using and we're going to use that as the roof now i'm just debating whether to drape it right away over the back end um, and then just leave the front and the sides open for the now and uh, obviously uh, in the future i'll just hire a few slats going along so we've still got air getting in now I'm thinking I might just do the same at the back, but also what we need to do, which we definitely haven't got time for today, is we need to build like a bit of a, of a small platform so all the wood's kept off the ground. Because so obviously the ground will just, uh, the wood will just soak up um, any moisture from the ground. So that's another thing we've got to look at. So we need to get some nice decent thin poles like this to make a, make a frame with. And uh, like a platform on the bottom. So all I'm going to do now is, this bit here that we only went and prepped so this is going to go on here like so and obviously because the slat's going to come down this way it's going to put pressure on it pushing forward so hence the post's going to get tied off on the inner side of the uprights okay now it's going to be easier uh, when Rooney gets back he's just busy away collecting some wood I think so that's what we're going to do now are you handy Rooney? No, I can hear him snapping things down the bottom leg. So I'll uh, I'll see what I can do here now to improvise. So because he's gone on a mission, I'm going to try something, and I'm going to put this post here. 
and lean that up against there. Rest that on there so it's at a reasonable height and yearish in any weight. And then I'm just going to get this bit of cordage. Now I'm going to do a, um, what do you call it, a Canadian jam knot. I'm just going to move the camera slightly because I think you're out of shot. So all I'm doing is resting it on that post, that big lock, log that I there. I'm resting it on the big log at the back there. And then I'm just going to do a Canadian jam knot. So what I'm going to do is, I've tied a little knot in the end already. So just tie a little thing on itself. Wrap it around there. Obviously I've got the, the cordage going around my neck like. Let me get that off there. Yeah, I can hear Rooney in the background snapping things and that's where he's doing some prep. And this is just basically just to keep it keep it here for now until I'm ready to tie it off properly like. Um, so I'm not going to actually tie it off and I'm going to leave a little bit of extra cordage on here so when I do want to tie it off properly I can get a good pull on it. So this is just a bit of cordage that I've salvaged off me um camera stand that i made and then all i'm going to do is the other side same again canadian jam knot sorry i'm off camera at the minute but yeah i'm going to do that about the same height I'll tell you what let's bring the camera around so you can see what i'm doing I'm spinning around there we're going so you see Putting that there, it gives us something to rest it on. And I can just put that round, lift it up, and tie me knot off. Yeah, he is, look there. He's got little slats for the roof. Whew, he's a good lad, you know. I mean, I had to give him 20 quid a day at like. <laughs> Very bollocks. <laughs> that log down so it doesn't come down then this one because that one's just tied off slack this one's going to get tied off nice and tight and then i'm going to do another canadian jam knot coming the other way so it crisscrosses all right and then we'll see how sturdy it is you're not good mate it's just when you're getting snugged up in the trees oh it? no it's a nightmare isn't it and uh put that off there now because we're ready to put that off we'll do the same again I'm going to go that way. Okay. Cinch on that nice and tight. That's solid. And then just tie a little knot off at the end. And that just stops, stops the uh, Canadian jam knot from sliding out on itself. So, and just cut off the axe, excess, I mean, sorry, without cutting your wrist. Not that I cut much with this, it's getting blunt. And that's it, basically. And then it's just a case of tightening up that other end. Do the same on the back, and then we'll start putting some slats coming down. I'll tell you what, it's probably big enough to sleep under this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a mini me shelter. <laughs> <laughs> it's the eye. Damien, if you're watching, mate, this can be your little shelter for when you come up. We'll just move the wood out the way, mate. Hey? Happy days. <laughs> right, I'll get this finished off and I'll bring this back. Right, well, there we have it. That's the main frame done in any weight. So, as you can see, we've got some slats running down to the back end. It's got a good slope on it with plenty of rain getting pushed off it. And look from the back here and you see it's like a, um like a little mini shelter really so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to cut some of that black plastic to size that'll be me uh, my main waterproofing and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to cover the, the roof part the same as what i did with me main shelter all right so obviously it'll, it'll look like the ground from under from a distance and what I'm going to do though, I'm going to put the top, the, uh, the black sheeting coming right down the back. 
just give that extra bit of protection from any rain coming in from this direction. Right, well, there we go. Um, we sort of like tucked and tied it, we'll show you from the inside. But that's well wood storage area done in any rate. I know some people say that you shouldn't have it totally enclosed, but it's, it's got an air gap going underneath and a couple on the sides. It's not totally done. But at the end of the day, while well, wood's been drying out, being totally and utterly covered uh, with the top, stopping the rain, because it's quite a wet woodland this. So that's it there. We've made it a bit of a platform, a, a, a prote um, a, what do you call it, a little platform on the bottom with some of our bigger bits of wood, and then just laid everything on. So we've got loads of room there to fill up. Uh, we need to process stuff. These are the brown ones at the bottom are um, quite saturated, but I'm going to use them for something else. So they're just going to stay at the front, and that's just bits of crap that were that's absolutely saturated as well. We're just going to leave them there for now. Uh, that's it. Got a couple of little bits that we've had on the benches there, just covering one of the sides for now. And this bit on the bottom here, that's just going to go over the top of them. And then all we've got is, excuse me, I'll just take my glove off. We've got this flap comes down, put one more away, just drop that down, and that's it. Covered. Happy days, like. It took some doing, in it? It's ten past four at night now, like. Um, so we've still got the cam net to sort out. What we can do as well as we'll fasten a log on the bottom of there. Aye. So it holds it down. Yeah, we'll do that. Aye. We'll just put a couple of bits of cordage in the corners, and then just loop it over, and then that'll be sweet as a nut like. But yeah, we've got the cam net to do next. But we're just about packed, aren't we? Aye. So I've just, just got a like couple. Of... Out for a cup of coffee, to be honest. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to drink water. We've got enough little bits and pieces of army main kits over there packed. That green bag there's the cam net. So what we're going to do is we're going to join it from that corner all the way along that ridge as far as it goes and then pull it back that way and then hang it down. Um, that's if we have time to do it like. But I've been collecting all the bits off the floor that you're seeing as scraping and that's going to get hide on top of there. But what I was thinking is just for just for temporary in any way, Rooney's collected all these sticks here. So I'm thinking what I might do is I might just drape them from the top of here over to the top of there, uh, just to give it like a bit of a platform, just to because that's a big black sheet now and it'll stand out a mile if anybody walks up the top end there. So just to put them over and then hoist some bits and pieces on top. Just now we'll see what the timing's like. I'm going to sit down and have a relax for a bit and. Uh, yeah, get some fluids down my neck. So, I'll bring us back in a bit and we'll let you know how we're getting on. Right, well, yeah, we'll have it then. It's getting late and it's getting dark. Well, it's starting to get dark because it's starting to rain. But we've got the cam net all sorted. So I'm going to have a quick walk around. So obviously we've got this bit over here. Coming over the top of where we've got one new wood shelter. All right. And it's all pinned in on the ground as well. And we've coloured all the ends of the pins in as well. So that's it. Like, obviously the cam net will darken a bit as well when it gets wet then coming round we've got a slight little gap there um, but that's not too bad and then obviously we're extra doorway here so basically the only thing that stands out really now is all that bit there but if you have a look inside it's much better Quite easy to get into. Obviously it's a bit dark in here, so I'm going to put the light on. As you can see. Hello. There we go. There's Mr. Rooney. So we're just going to get some jackets and that on. 
And uh, yeah, it's it's like being back on exercise, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Cycling isn't. <laughs> isn't it? It is crazy. Yeah. I just sort of all of a sudden got back to um, me. What do you call it? Me, oh, me little army days on exercise because I've been under all this cam net. It's absolutely brilliant, like. But anyway, it, um, yeah. E, hello. <laughs> <laughs> right well that's the end of the video and uh i think i better wash my face before i walk out of this forest <laughs> but i charcoal man it's great stuff it's good for the complexion you know and uh yeah we've had a cracking time but it's late i was supposed to have been home about an hour ago like so at any rate i'm gonna say thank you very much everybody for watching it's really appreciated and uh We'll catch you on the next one. Runic, got anything you want to say, mate? Because the battery's about to die, mate. No, just everybody stay healthy, stay safe, and treat people like you'd like to be treated yourself. Take care. You back. Bye-bye, everyone. <laughs>